How do you celebrate after winning? Usually I, I, I bought something for me, shoes or some uh, jacket. <laughs> for the big competitions like the, the qualification tournaments and the World and European Championships, we have a, a really nice tradition. Uh, we're organizing a big after party. <laughs> we had a little party um, and all the sponsors from the clubs, um, everyone got together. All the stress, all the hard work that we had, we can just enjoy it in a, in a night full of music and dancing. Of course, I celebrate with my friends, with family. You're a maximum собираем, so first, that we haven't seen the dinner at the table, да, eating, like everyone. It's just a little bit of a dinner and we're invited him, and he loves to eat with us. I celebrate with some food. Eating, definitely, because dieting is hard. We're always going to the McDonald's or the KFC. Tacos, not because I'm Mexican, but I love tacos. It's not stereotypical, it's because that's what I really like. Losing weight is hard, it's harder than fighting. Maybe sushi, pizza after have any. Hang out with my wife, hang out with a few good friends, and uh, that's it, back to the mats as soon as possible. I probably work family, family, and go Because Obviously, we have to train again, so no drinking. No eating chocolate, uh, back to chicken. What do you do after you lose? Oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I hate losing. The bus is a lot bigger than the other kilo. I lost it. Because you believe that you will succeed. Because when you succeed, you will succeed. It's like that. Bro, I didn't succeed. It's like that. Bro, I didn't succeed. It's like that. What do you mean? But when you lose, it's like that. I think after losers, I go <laughs> inside and close. Well, it sucks, right? Nobody wants to lose, but it happens a lot. It happens to all of us. I hate losing. I cry. I'm emotional. I'm, I'm very bad. I walk out of the stadium. Yeah, I will show respect to the player. Yes, well done, congratulations, but I will not. I will be very, very bad on myself. My sensei has to calm me down. He has to do a lot of talking to me. I'm going to write a post on the other side. I'm going to write all my thoughts in words. I can be honest, put my hands up and say I'm not the greatest leader. I'm not. But after that, all mentally, the affirm not technique. It's amazing. Initially, very much frustrated, because we always were frustrated on the victory. And the defeat I always treated as a challenge, as a challenge that we need to solve quickly. But as soon as my career grew, I started to take it more seriously. So, I mean, to be honest. Поражение — это значит шаг к успеху. Вот. И потихоньку-потихоньку вот все эти ошибки справлялись и победы получались. After losing, it's, a, it's even a better lesson than after winning. I think you need to be friendly and supportive to, your, to the one who won. That's the place that you really wanted to have. You wanted to have the gold medal. But yeah, this time it didn't happen. So you need to be thinking, okay, we're going to train for the next time because next time I'm going to beat you. That's the thing for being number two, three, until number thousand. You didn't have the gold medal, so there was always something more to fight for. I think um, at that moment, I don't really think about it too much that night. Then the next day, we're back on to work. First thing is video review. You have to see where you made mistakes. You have to see why you lost. So I definitely like to watch my fights. I was very uncomfortable with watching my fights of when I lost when I was younger, but I've learned to do that now so I can fix those little mistakes and try to do it better next time. It doesn't mean you're going to actually win everything the very next time, but it does give you a better chance of not making those mistakes and doing a better performance. So definitely video review, I think, is uh, one of the most important things for me when I lose, and it gives me a better chance to win the next time. I don't know, as a additional motivation, probably, to do more and win. After all, there is a lot of pressure on me. It's difficult to lose at the right time and to lose at the right time. <laughs> what advice do you have for athletes for dealing with winning and losing? Well, I won't give no advice for losing, but for winning, I think you should just be proud of what you've done. You put in all the hard work that people don't see and take it as a stepping stone for your future events. We can't let wins get to our head. We have to be back at the gym training again because one win doesn't mean anything. You know, we have to keep going and going. It's not who can make it, it's who can stay there and constantly be.
um, striving for perfection, which perfection, it does not exist, but you have to try to get as close as, to, as you can to that. And losing, it's also not the end of the world. Nothing happens like you can go back into the gym the very next day and keep going. So I think just the discipline of being able to go back to work because none of us are perfect fighters. We can all do something better. So just having the discipline of going and working still on our flaws and uh, strengthening them, that would definitely be some advice I would give, but also more important than anything, have fun with it. Like you have to have fun with it. Nobody's doing this because you're forced to like, we like doing this. We like like hitting, we like getting hit. Like it's something that we enjoy. So you have to have fun with it. And when you have fun with it, it will automatically turn into a better result because you're out there enjoying it as opposed to feeling super pressured and super scared of what's gonna happen. So definitely enjoy it, have fun with it, but stay with the commitment of always striving to be better, whether you win or whether you lose. Без поражений не бывает побед. То, что учит больше всего, я считаю, поражений, потому что победа, она дает славу, наслаждение, а поражение дает опыт и дает мысли о что что-то не так что-то надо улучшить что-то надо усовершенствовать поэтому поражение это составная часть победы поражение это прежде всего вызов ну к победам наверное больше не зазнаваться и продолжать также работать в правильном направлении а при поражениях не раскисать а наоборот как злиться и делать еще больше, чтобы в дальнейшем уже побеждать. Неудача — это как э, ступенька, как шаг э, вперед. То есть нужно делать работу над ошибками и идти вперед. То есть без поражений, наверное, не бывает прогресса. Вот, поэтому нужно делать именно ошибки, над, э, работу над ошибками и идти вперед. Если брать победы, то допустим сегодня вы победили сегодня завтра послезавтра вы в статусе там чемпиона вам вы радуетесь но нужно это забыть и идти дальше потому что еще много впереди соревнований стартов и поэтому нужно готовиться с, именно с такой с холодной головой זה לא שלי, זהו, זהו, אני לא יכול להיות אלוף. והרבה פעמים אצלי ככה בכל אופן בחיים שלי, קורה שבדיוק ברגע שאתה על סף לבטל, כשאתה עושה עוד צעד, אתה מנצח. אז תמיד ברגע שהם מרגישים שזהו, בא להם לעזוב הכל, לזרוק כפופות, גם זה היה לי כמה פעמים <laughs> בכל הדרך הזאת, אז ברגע שהם חושבים שצריך לעזוב, שימשיכו עוד צעד, למרות כל ההרגשות והסערת רגשות שיש, שימשיכו עוד קצת והם יראו שהם בדרך הנכונה, בדרך כלל זה ככה, אצלי עובד. זהו, העיקר לא נוותר, להמשיך כל הפסד. Let's start with how to handle your failures, because I think it's, in the beginning it's maybe really hard, or maybe for some people not, but you cannot always win, so the only thing you can do is train, and train more and train hard. In every training that you're doing, try to train 100%. Because that's the only way that you're going to make progression and getting closer to the medal that you want that, or to the goal that you have. If you fail, it's no problem. You should be looking to the next competition and to your next uh, championship to fight for that. And don't be sad too long. Of course, you can be disappointed, but don't be in there for too long. And if you're winning, don't get too happy and show around that you won and tell, oh, I won, I won, I won. No, because I think that's also not a really sportive uh, mental thing. Uh, you can be happy after uh, after you left the court or the area where everybody is. Uh, at the moment, you can be happy because yeah, you you did something you want and you won. But don't be like trying to shine and get all the shine because if you do, a lot of people are gonna think like he is not a great winner. And uh, be aware for that. Yes, and the same thing. And לא טוב, הייתי אומרת, כאילו, הם ממש מרימים תו. הרבה פעמים שאחרי ניצחון יש הרגשה כאילו, זהו, אני מצליח הכל, אבל אחרי הניצחון הרבה פעמים מגיע הבום של נפילה. להיות מוכן שאחרי הניצחון הגדול יבוא גם הפסד, כאילו, גם זה להיות מוכן. אבל ברור שצריך לשמוח אחרי ניצחון. I just train as hard as I can and come in there to do the best I can. 
I focus more on the performance, doing everything right at the right time, and uh, the win will come by itself. And if it doesn't, that's okay. That's a learning experience too. But learn from your wins as well. If you don't learn from your wins, you will learn from your losses. Train hard and uh, stay humble. Even if you think you know something, still listen to anybody who has anything to teach you, because usually everybody does. In every win, you have small battles that you lose. You know, I have a, a fight that I uh, choked my opponent out in uh, 29 seconds. And uh, after the fight, I sat down with my coach, like we do after every fight. And, you know, I thought we had nothing to improve in this fight because I did perfect. And he said, we, all, we worked for two months for you to not get taken down. In the first 30 seconds of the fight, he took you down. You choked him out, but he took you down. So we got to get back to the, working the wrestling. I need to eat now, bro. <laughs>